Hello everyone, my name is Emma Kalinovich. I am the spokesperson representative for Apple. Tonight, we will be holding a press conference over crisis communication concerning our latest incident at the Palo Alto store in California, the hub of Apple. As the brand new iPhone was released in stores today on October 18th, 2018, Apple had been expecting a storm of customers. However, around 12.30 p.m. earlier today, a group of five young adults, all male from the local high school, skipped class in order to attempt an armed robbery in goals of stealing the newly released iPhones. Although they were able to get away with several Apple products, including an iPad, Beats by Dr. Dre headphones, Apple AirPods, and several phone cases, they did not manage to steal the iPhones, or any, as planned. Security was quick to respond and contained two of the teens. However, three others managed to get away. Luckily, no shots had been fired, neither by the men nor security, and so no one was injured during the heist. First responders were quick to arrive, however, to the scene as well, many thanks to the several Apple employees who quickly called 911 and stayed on the phone during the incident. The two teens were taken in by the Palo Alto Police Department and are being held for questioning as we speak. As we found out, they are seniors in high school and are already of legal age. All legal actions and monetary resp responsibility are to be taken care of by the two individuals. As we await further notice from the police department, we have partnered with the Palo Alto Police Department and are holding officers on site for the remainder of opening day. Any updates that Apple receives will be announced instantly and directly to the public via both in person in another press conference, as well as on each of our social media platforms. Apple will be releasing a written statement once we have all information in order to be expected within the next hour. Of course, the safety and security of our customers are at our highest priority not only in times of crisis, but at, all, but at all times. We are making conscious efforts to extend any help we may give currently on site, along with our customer support line, which is available over the phone. In the midst of crisis, we as spokespeople are asked many questions that we either cannot legally respond to or do not have the answer to. Despite those obstacles, we do not avoid to answer any question that is asked by any interviewer. Apple spokespeople are to stay calm, cool, collected, and acknowledge a question or comment and then bridge the conversation to head in the preferred direction. While using the bridging technique to steer the con conversation another direction, you can restate any company policies and statements that may be relatable, or simply just state that at the moment, you do not have the means to comment on that particular topic, and therefore move on to the next interviewer. With that being said, as a spokesperson of Apple, I'm welcome to and would be more than honored to answer any and all questions and comments and will do to my best to respond with the most detailed answer possible. Thank you.